Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Signaliths. In the last episode, we made our way to the medical deck level of the facility, a mining facility we have found ourselves in. I am pretty sure that this is some sort of dream or some sort of past experience that we are witnessing, either our own or someone else's, who wishes us to see this due to us being a replica or an android or something of the sort. It's a pretty nightmarish situation we're just happening here as we're finding replicas corrupted and then attacking us quite uh, horrifically. But we've been able to repulse them so far Though we did t uh, get uh, slightly damaged, I suppose, in the last episode. We have also are learning more and more that the nation we are a part of isn't a very good nation. <laughs> it's not one I would choose to work in. The slightest offenses seem to have quite a substantial amount of punishment involved in them and it has uh education camps or re-education camps in them to keep you believing what the nation tells you is good as well as uh food rationing and also other horrific things happening here and you get punished for like having a fountain pen by them stripping you of your food this is uh this is awful <laughs> i love it Let's go ahead and keep exploring some more. Right. We've also learned that things get back up after they've been knocked down. So even stepped on. So we gotta be a little more strategic about what passages I'm willing to go through multiple times. I think so far, if I recall correctly, we have left something in the west corridor. And the same for the east corridor or south corridor has something else in it too. We have quite a few rooms that we also need to do some exploring in, or do oh, sorry, doors we need to, to double check. So we might be revisiting quite a few of the places we've already been in. We picked up a shotgun as well last episode, though we have not fired it. We've learned that this is not as powerful as the pistol, I'm guessing, but it has more of a spread. So you can hit multiple targets with it. We probably should actually be bringing multiple weapons with me. We also have that pump key, which I don't remember where that's used in. I think it is probably used down here in, on one of those two doors. Or it's using the door in the south quarter that we haven't seen before. I doubt it's using the morgue, and I don't think it was used in the north corridor. I think that leads to some sort of observatory. Okay, let's see if we can get around the corrupted. In this room. seconds. Well, they didn't work out. <laughs> okay, and the key was used there. Was it used here? Other side. Okay. Alright, well, that's a bullet 
a shotgun shell got down, but that was actually pretty powerful. So I won't regret doing that. Unless she gets right back up again. Flood drainage system, malfunction. To all medical wing auras. Was that automatic repair android s service? Er? The robots who deal... Robots. The replicas which deal in particular with repairing things. The automatic equalizer pumps in the flood drainage system still appear to be broken, causing the lower level to be flooded. Since we're currently focusing repair efforts on the east wing staircase structure, the drainage system pressure has to be manually equalized from the control panel in the pump control room for now. That's where we are. To drain the water, make sure that both A and B tanks have the same amount of water in them, and that the C tank is completely empty. You can see the water levels in the tanks in the control room panel. Press the buttons at the bottom of the panel to move water between the tanks using the air pressure system. It's a bit tricky to get the two tanks equalized this way because you can only move all the water in a tank at once this way, unless your receiving tank is full. With the pumps out of order, only tank A will fill up by itself. So this is that multiple glasses issue, and you have to measure them properly to get all of them filled. A to B to C back to A. Reservoir drainage instructions. With tank A fill, here's how to equalize a reservoir. Fill tank B, then fill tank C with water only from B. Move the water from tank C back to tank A. Fill tank C again with remaining water from tank B, then refill tank B from tank A. Again, fill tank C with water only from tank B, then move it back to tank A. If you make a mistake and get stuck, just fill everything back to tank A and start over. Oh nice, someone actually wrote, wrote down what we're supposed to do? And we'll do that. <laughs> I thought we would have to do this ourselves. So, uh... So, A has to be full. Fill tank B. Fill tank C. Move this back to tank A. One, two, three. Four. Six. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see if that actually is more confusing than I think that's what puzzle is going to be. But let's let's figure this out together. One thousand two hundred units. Eight hundred and five hundred. So we want to. How to uh, if I fill tank B. Oh, I see. This is from B to A, B to C. Okay. So then we want to fill tank C. Then we want to fill tank A. Then fill tank C. Fill tank B. Fill tank C. Fill tank A. That would have been a fun one to figure out without the instructions. That's interesting. I've solved a few of these puzzles in various Bioware games in the past, and so on. Okay. I guess we're going down there. I see nothing else we can interact with here in this chamber. Though I do feel like we might have missed something somewhere. Do we want to drop down again? We haven't even ex we have we've left so many things here still. I feel like we should go to the south corridor before we drop down. Let's 
the risk of waking up things we've already felled, we will do that. Give her a few seconds. Please, please let me leave. <laughs> oh, okay. We took a little hit there. She was still outside the door. Uh, well, I guess we can repair ourselves. Actually, how injured are we? We're at caution. Uh, sure, why not? Right, okay, that's why we didn't go this way. Well, we're going to now, so let's double check these doors. Make sure I didn't miss anything in here. The VCR player. I see nothing else on the walls. Don't make me do it. this room and there's two items on those shelves there and some handgun ammo here and more med packs so there's a bunch of stuff in this room I at the very least want this okay we're not allowed around this so these are these are I thought this was the floor on this side and this was a small portal it's not these are lockers. I might want everything that's in here, but we'll come back. We have more ammo for that. This looks like medical storage to me. Bunch of supplies, unused uh, IV bags. Patient, Uller S2321. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches. Mid to hospital wing after vomiting oxidant fluid during work. Clinical picture in line with other recent cases among protector staff. While we still have no indication what causes this syndrome, we have observed similar developments in all patients. Most puzzlingly, development of the syndrome seems to progress similarly in both replica and gestalt patients. Initial admission tests showed hypotension, high fever and dehydration, eternal hemorrhaging, strong cognitive decline within the first cycle. A pol I can't pronounce that. Alopecia and purpura. Within five cycles, skin will begin to peel in large patches. Decline of vision quality and ability to communicate may follow. Distalt patients will usually expire at this stage due to infections, while the results for replica patients seem to vary. Distalt are un not replicas then? Is that what they use to term humans or mostly humans? Oh, this is the intensive care unit, is it? I thought this was just a storage facility. So this must be some sort of a uh, wall off where they can examine the patient inside that uh, the ICU there.
She doesn't look well. Before we disturb her. Oh, oh! The sword! Last episode, we also detected... Uh, we, we had this. Where is my... Frequencies? Sword is 24-7. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. This is exactly what I did not want to have happen. I want to go here. I want to disable that. I want to do this without actually activating it. Now we found a cipher for this, right? Nine, seven, one, eight, four. Okay. So that's K Z A eight H. I'm assuming it's just standard telephone numbers. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So, it is K, Z, A, and then it can't be A, N, S, H, E, B. All right, wait, all these numbers are there. <laughs> so A N B H S R Z K or E. A N P H S R C K F is what we want to press. H. Clever. They don't quite match up. Now that's interesting. That eye looks a bit like the reflection in the eye from the main menu that we've seen, doesn't it? Eidetic mod module? That sounds like something that we'll plug into ourselves. Incinerator room key. An old photographic memory module allows recording of up to six visual memories. Incredibly outdated, but it might still be useful. When equipped, it can record up to six visual memories as grayscale images. Old images are automatically overwritten when taking a picture. Can we use it? Oh, interesting. It's a tool. Is that right? Huh. I wonder why we would want this. We're currently carrying stun prod, so it doesn't consume any more inventory space. Everyone's turned weird. I'm the only one left, I think. 
Will I get sick like the others too? We did read that she will, yes. Right? We did read that? Yes, we did. I'm scared. I... I don't want to die. You look kind of familiar. Have we met before? Wasn't this the girl who we saw wounded outside earlier? At first, it was only Commander Falk who fell ill. Slowly, everyone started behaving strangely. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't want to become like the others. There's no guarantee if you're staying in here that that won't happen. That's an awful thing to tell someone, though, so we won't, we won't repeat that. Wall safe codes. Oh, we've already done this. We've already seen that. I guess you could technically could miss the earlier codes and not realize they were even there. I wonder if we could actually put her out of her misery, as it were. So we have this room with some supplies, but I didn't see anything that looked like shotgun shells. If we could get them both to close together, though, we could stun prod them both. But I don't really need health packs. Let's look at what's down there again. We also don't have the inventory space. leave. Hopefully she'll be gone when we return. Let's see. Where is the incinerator room? The morgue. There were two things in the morgue. We left two things there, if I recall correctly, so that's going to be a bit troublesome. to avoid that one if I could she's not required for us to pat we don't we don't have to kill her to get past her I have to have a talk with whoever's watching this on there uh, on the cameras about not playing that music when one of these things screams at me. <laughs> okay. So let's take out the two shotgun rounds we have, and let's see what it was like when we reload the shotgun. We can probably get away with reloading a shotgun if we need to during a fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna store the shotgun at the moment. We're gonna take back out our pistol. Actually, we're going to store the pistol ammo. Take back the pistol. Equip it. I'll store both stun prods, this way if we use one, we'll actually get back an in inventory space. I'm also going to save over a file so I can more easily see how long I've been playing for. So we'll have a main... We'll, we'll alternate between those two. By the way, is this something we can interact with? It is not.
There was a card creator there. This was locked with... That's the examination room, okay. We don't have any imaging that requires looking at at the moment. So this is where it's going to get a bit tricky. I should have bought a healing pack with me, but it's... Let's just go. Pick up three thermite flares. Oh, these are a weapon of some sort because we're getting note about them. Proper disposal of corpses. To Uller S2305. My, as you probably heard, there have been multiple accounts of bodies decommissioned, protectors spontaneously reactivating and acting in a defective manner. Based on November's autopsy report, it seems that all affected units showed some sort of cancerous growth in the organic components. According to her, almost completely incinerated, this growth may reactivate the replica even after it's been dead for hours. We don't know what causes this, and we're unsure who's affected. We can't keep up with incinerating all the bodies. We just have two incinerators that constantly need recalibrating, so we're improvising. These thermite flares are able to melt through replica armor and burn the organic components from the inside. I've requis requisitioned more of them, but there was some paperwork missing, so we'll have to wait a bit longer. Junie. Okay, gotcha. So this is the effect. This is the uh, lighter with the gasoline from the Resident Evil One remake that they did. We only have three of them, so we'll have to be careful about who we want to burn uh, to stop getting up permanently. We're still early on, maybe in the game, so I don't feel like we need to use it anywhere here yet. And what is this? tongue I do not know why I want to do this oh I don't know what that is but we probably want it <laughs> so I'm guessing we want the heat turned off for this right So we need the gas to be lower and the oxygen to be higher. Close. I can't believe we nailed the CO2 at the very first go of it. So this is a... You're getting a warm, cold type of thing. Feeler? Oh! We have to make it match this, is what we're trying to do. The red line.
maybe maybe this way. Well, well we will get this. <laughs> Eventually, this will be this will this will work. Very weird how you have to do that. Can we wait a little bit to let it cool down? Maybe it was this being prepped? It, it's probably very hot though. Well, it feels like I, I should wait. Fire key. Oh, one of the keys we need for the one specially locked door. So we will be coming back here, I'm guessing, then. That's used in this room. Then we also need to check the other... We, we will probably need... To check the room with those two replicas in it that I've been avoiding so far. like the replica now that it looked like it had a giant some sort of mutated face whatever that was that got out of the ground there let's check the imaging real quick so I thought this was a gun at first but this is not a gun. This is the image of the thing inside of this when I had looked. I just didn't even bother pressing anything here. But we can press all of these to see what what's actually in here. So this is... This is a pistol of some sort. Ooh, wow. Someone's hand is in this? Because the bone is still attached, I think. Unless this is some sort of uh, internals that the replicas use to mimic m uh, muscles. Oh, interesting. There's metal plates on this skull. That's weird. This looks like the fire key. Am I able... Can I take a picture of this with my special eye? No. Sorry, when I have to draw circles on a piece of paper.
I don't know what this is. Some sort of clamp? And those are the things here. Things quarantined? I don't want to give up any of this, but we have to. All right. I'm not going to take the thermite. I don't know what I would use this for. So we'll just store it at the moment. Travel light. We will take a repair patch. Let's go use the fire key. Get it out of our inventory. You know, I think we just take another stun prod also. We actually want to get past her, but she's in the, on the wrong side for us to do that. I'm going to assume that if a replica gets back up, it can get back up multiple times. The only way to actually keep it down would be to use thermite on it. Oh, actually, wow, okay. I thought we had to sneak past the other girl. We don't. This was right on this side. Fire key. Oh, I left... Wow, I left a, a heal pack here. I kind of wish I could actually have marked down where each individual healing thing is or so on, because it'd probably be more efficient or uh, more strategic to leave things here or there in case you need them and have them close by, then bring them with you. Like, I don't want to bring two healing items with me. I, I really just want one. We have some pistol ammo. Let's just take this with me. It's like a sword that she's carrying. I wonder where she would have gotten that thing from. I get the impression not many replicas would be packing. So that's a Euler mo module, is that right? Is it the coloring? Well, we're going to drop down. Oh, no. <laughs> this feels bad. What have we got here? The water key. Of course we'll take it.
Are we two repair patches? All right, we're not. I don't think we're coming back here, so we'll try to s take everything we can. But now we're on a different floor. Yeah, flooded bathroom. Examination room key. Until we get back up to where we came from, we should put these keys away. Uh, I don't think we need really more than a single standard health patch at the moment. Two stun prods. My goodness, they're giving us quite a bit of these. We probably should try using those more often than my bullets. Maybe we could get by without actually bringing a weapon? Just use that. Well, I do kind of want it. Let's bring the shotgun. If we find a single piece of ammo for it, we can reload it. We'll stick with our prods at the moment. So we've got about another 30 minutes. Let's double check this room really quick to make sure we're not missing anything. Doesn't look like we are. And this brings us back up stairs. Okay. We actually do want to go out that door, but let's climb up, verify, okay, this room is secure, and then unlock this door. Now if she is right on the other side, I'm gonna zap her. Okay, she's not. More bullets, it looks like. Bullets and boxes. Ten more rounds. A blank key. Get up. We do have to pass you several more times, but I'll hope she won't get back up rather than use a thermite. Okay. So we have a blank key. We can probably make the key that we saw in the one room. Define pattern. All right, so we want Find pattern. No, that is horribly wrong. Here's where we're going to start. God, I hope that's right. So 
so now we've printed the key. The blank has one row of contacts less than original keys. I hope that was right. <laughs> uh, where was this used, do you think? Thank you, by the way, everyone, for shouting at me that I haven't equipped the stun prods. <laughs> I totally did not, uh, I didn't realize that I did not have them equipped. Oh, I wanted the other, okay. So let's get the water key as well. And we might as well get the examination room key. And we'll go ahead and... I have all those, right? Let's go ahead and... Use these. It's here, right? Yes, it is. Right here. clear out as much inventory space as I can. So let's use these keys. And I don't know where the blank key is used. I'm, maybe it's used back in the elevator to get us to a lower floor. But otherwise, we have the water key. So let's get this attached here. Very strange lock. Guess we're going to go to H do U two. I kinda didn't want the health packs then. The one health pack I brought with me. Let's instead go back down the uh ladder. storage. Okay, well, we're gonna have to deal with her. Right? I guess I don't need the blank key with me. Okay, we're not getting through that door. Shotgun shells and other ammunition, I think. But there's more to explore here. Or, or there isn't. A video cassette. Yep, those are totally different things. Those are different things. <laughs> what is this? Personal grievance form, P14. Hey, I have a problem with working in a horror hospital filled with nightmarish uh, scything claw 
vent crawling around in monsters. Data filing personal grievance form 8420F. Full protect. Oh, that's interesting. They use uh, at least, I guess, hex. Full protector ID of the unit filing grievance. Who cares? Department medical. Status staff. Full protector's ID is involved in the unit. Another ID. Time of, uh, all time of incident. All the time. Okay, unit incident medical wing. Description. Elf keeps using my wrench misplacing the 10 millimeter socket. I've been reprimanded for not repairing the fan in the vent in the lower level, but I can't remove the vent cover without a 10 millimeter wrench socket. I know she's doing it on purpose. So this fan needs to be repaired? But we don't... I need a wrench with a fitting socket to remove the air vent cover. So we have one bit of that, but not both bits of it. So that means we're coming back here. And darn it, if I didn't want the shotgun now that we were dealing with two things close together. But I guess our... Our flare will have to... Uh, flare? One of our prods will have to do. The last prod we brought with us. I do like that they go back into the, the vent. Because that gives us a chance to try to avoid them. 12 millimeter ammo for a revolver weapon. We don't have that gun yet. And five more standard rounds. That's okay. We'll just leave. <laughs> we'll just leave and wait for the scary music to go away. It would be so good if they could chase you through rooms. Oh, that'd be wonderful. But I don't think they do. Here we go. We're running for it. There's four of those things. My goodness. So we might as well take the tape with us. You know, Tim, if you're going to go back to that one room, then why not... Not bring the shotgun. Oh, I can't. I can't go up on the map. Or can I? Oh, I can. Right, hold on. So we want to go to. No, that's where we were. Yeah, it's, it's the same hallway, so we'll bring the tape with us as well. Uh, we have no more pistol ammo, uh, shotgun ammo, Tim. So you better make this count. the scary room. That one patrolling replica. She is right here. We're running for it. Oh, interesting. I thought for sure they'd hear me if I ran anywhere in the hallway, but apparently that's not the way it works. to leave <laughs> we're not allowed to leave so all right well what's the worst that could happen right probably just a figment of our imagination there there was 
It looked like someone was standing here, but we obviously were confused, and it was this thing instead. Which is clearly some sort of earth key or something. And of course it's in inventory, because of course it would be. A special access card with a gold motif. Something seems strange about this key. Like it doesn't belong here. Okay, that was the auto injector information. We have two free slots. If we can get these two together, we'll try using our, our prod on them. But I don't think it's gonna work out that way. So here we go. Oh, am I all filled up on shotgun ammo? I am. Okay, we have two extra rounds. And we used, yep, we used that uh, prod. I like that the pod, you, you di literally discard the pod in the ground like it was ammunition. That's a nice, that's a nice touch. I like that. Some repair spray. And a repair patch. And we're never coming back here again. Let's make triple sure. Um, we're walking over these girls multiple times. Let's make absolutely sure we're not going to come back here. So we used a shotgun shell and a prod. We picked up four shotgun shells, a big repair pack, a small health pack. I don't know if that was worth it. Actually, no, it absolutely was. Well, was it worth the prod? It probably was. I have to wait for her to go away. But we, don't, we could kill her. We have the ammunition, but I've read... On the off chance this is a survival type game, I don't feel like I should be shooting every single... Corrupted. Let's check this really quick. Air key, gold key, and the earth key. Maybe the blank key is actually the earth key? I didn't get that impression. So why are we being forced to watch this? What actually happened to us? The whole climbing down that one uh, shaft and crawling through a tunnel to walk into someone's like bedroom feels like that's not right. There's something about that that's wrong. The King of Yellow was the way in which we were hacked when we picked up that book. Maybe it's imagery or... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Like, it wasn't a physical book, but represented a book instead that we plucked up.
Okay, so let's take back our pistol. We have a repair spray with us. And I guess we'll take a single stun prod? We have the examination room to look at. Maybe we... I don't like not having a single health pack on me, but I feel like we probably should not be... be taking these with, a, with me. Although I do like it, and I do like the limited... limited... Li, wow. Limited inventory. I kind of do wish it was like two... You had one... One more slot. Okay, so where have we not been yet? The exam room. Which I'm guessing we'll find the wrench bit we need there. And we have the blank card. That was interesting. She was waiting for us, staring right at us that time, huh? She's kind of guarding the way we need to go, so I'll hope she's not there. And maybe this will reset her. I really don't want to use the prod on her, or I don't want to destroy her at all. I'd like to just sneak past one of these corrupted. A prod, notes, and something on the bed. I guess we can take the prod. Oh, auto injector. Quick curing construction foam. Since the ration plan has changed again, we're short on quick curing repair spray. Turns out we can make our own by combining coagulant K with normal expanding PU foam. It won't expand as much, but it'll harden instantly and make a fairly solid bond if you're in a rush to get some repairs done. You can use normal replica repair patches since they're a pretty easy source of coagulant K. And just combine them with normal repair sprays. Oh, interesting! I forgot that you can actually go ahead and re and uh, so we can combine this with this and make a more powerful, potent spray. Can I combine this with the auto injector? No. Interesting. I like that. I was wondering if we could actually combine other, like, standard pieces of gear or ammunition that we find. That's cool that we can do that. There's the socket that we need. Without a handle, it's impossible to use. I wonder if there, if we unlock a hard mode when the, we're done with this that lets enemies chase me through rooms. Okay. So we don't need the auto injector. Do I have another? We have another normal repair spray. So let's make 
another super spray. We'll take out the wrench. Combine them. That's the tool we want. You know what? I, oh, they're all close together, the things down there. If we do have to fight them, it would be nice to have the stun prod to immediately incapacitate potentially all of them. Since I am potentially fighting a group, it would also be wise to just take the shotgun. And then... Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, viewer. And then I want a single heal item. Why not take... Both of these. And we'll make the repair. We'll take a repair spray plus with us. We're going down to that fan, which I'm guessing has the air key in it, because that would just make sense to me. The blank key must be for the Earth key. Of course, I'm going to save the game before we do this. <laughs> I don't know if there's a score for the end of the game. I'm probably not going to score very high in it. Oh, we've been playing also for an hour, everyone. So what we'll do is we'll use this on the fan, and I'm guessing there's a key on the other side. We come back over here, and if that's the case, then we'll end the episode at that point. That's a shame. We're just running past these. Oh yeah, you can see the key right in the fan's, uh, yep, right there. And it was indeed the air key. So I'm guessing the other key must be the earth key, the blank one. Just running for it. This was the wrong. This was the wrong room. <laughs> oh, I thought it could be clever. Just run up the staircase. Oh, well, now we're lucky taking a hit. All right, well, let's take that hit. But we're not. She gave me some. She was. We scared her. She. She screamed in horror at us opening the, at us opening the door and backed away. Since we're here, we might as well put the air key in. You know, let's go... Well, I'm a little worried we might automatically walk through the door. So let's not do the Earth Key thing until the next episode. I thought that the blank key was going to be used there. On the elevator to get us to another floor. That that was the key card that was taken from us. And I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. I also have a hunch as a boss battle on the other side of that door. So I'm gonna take 
two repair spray pluses. Actually, we'll no, we'll take an auto injector, a heal spray, my pistol, all the ammo I have for it, and the blank key, giving us two extra spaces when we open the door eventually. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. We'll save the game, obviously, right here. And I will see you guys in the next one, where we'll see what's... Be maybe we'll see what's behind that giant door. I don't think I mix missed anything. Did I miss anything? No, I don't think so. Alright guys, I'll see you then. Take care everyone, and thanks for watching.